All right, guys, we got a 2005 Toyota Avalon XLE. Uh, we have a misfire on this baby. So, customer requested, uh, we're going to take one step at a time. Misfire cylinder P0306. It's a cylinder number six. So, how would you determine where is your cylinder number six on this V6 engine? It's the same for the Toyota Avalons, Highlander, Forerunners, as long as you got a six cylinder vehicle. So, this engine, if we're standing right in front of it, we're gonna look at cylinder one, two, three, four, five, six, okay? It's pretty simple order, okay? So, if you have a forerunner, you have a big fan belt over here, the engine is pretty much sitting this way. So then you will stand to this side here, so this engine would be pretty much sitting this way. So this edge here will be right here. So same thing, one, two, three, four, five, six. That's how simple that is. Let's take a look on the computer so you guys can understand that. Anyways, Let's figure out what we're gonna have to do here. So, um, cylinder number six is what we're tackling today. Okay, so here's the order. This is the front of the vehicle. So we're pretty much standing right here where the radiator is. So cylinder one is in the back. Two, three, four, five, six. This is the one that we have to tap. P0306. 301, 302, 303, 304, 305, 306. So that's how it goes. So if you guys wanna know, uh, which cylinder goes where on this Avalon. Uh, let's pop this open. So this thing just comes right off. So once we remove that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off this coil, uh, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter, 10 millimeter. We're gonna blow some air to get rid of all this debris here. We're gonna remove the connector, remove the connector, remove the connector. This is a snap connector here. Um, we're gonna take out the coils. We're gonna put these coils to the side, cylinder number six. Look what it looked like. That thing is destroyed, it's burnt out, so it could, it could be causing an intermittently uh, misfire day because that's what it looked like. But we are going to be changing the plugs, so the customer doesn't want to just do this one, and then down the road he wants to do the back two, uh, back three. And I told him you should do it all together. He said he'll be back next week, so next week it is. What can we do? Three and one coil. So we're going to start off by blowing some air on this guy and get rid of all this debris here. a lot of shells here so always inspect your wires because uh sometimes you'll have a squirrel or rat sitting here they'll eat the wires that could be cause uh, causing the misfire so that is that what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this away and then we're gonna start working on this okay so what we're gonna do is uh we're gonna remove the 10 millimeter bolt of these and Remember also, if there's any oil on these ignition coils or on the plugs, that could be part of your misfire. So make sure, um, let's put the bolts up there. So if you're working back there, you don't want to put nothing up there, okay? Because you don't want anything falling down into the cylinders. So we're going to remove these connectors. Okay, that thing didn't work out so good. So these are all missing kind of tips of it, but they should come off. Let's get this guy out of here, all the connectors out. So you wanna put these coils to the side because uh, these are the good ones. You don't wanna mix and match with no oil so far. So somebody's been working on this vehicle, they put a used battery last time for this guy. So everything is just a disaster. You never wanna put a used battery so the cylinder looks good in there. Um, customer also said too, look at this ignition coil. This is shot, it's melted out something. I don't know if something spilled on it, but this looks like it's melted. So you never want to uh, use used parts. Also, he said uh, someone must uh, We're going to pull out one of the plugs. We're going to take a look at it because he said they did do tune-up on it. Let's see if they did do tune-up on it. Okay, got a socket here. This is a, a three, five by eight. That's the number on it. Five by eight. Uh, three eight drive with a ratchet. So I'm going to do this with one hand. Try not to attempt this with one hand at home. Try to use both hands. So there you go. And we're going to pull out one of these plugs. I'm going to have to take this guy off. Once you're losing it, you should be able to remove this little guy. I'll show you a small trick. Once you're losing this plug completely, what you want to do is take your coil, send it back down. If it stands straight, it will grab that plug and bring it out for you. So there it is. There's your plug. 
All right, so we're not touching his plugs. This is a brand spanking new plug, Denzel, the brand. So we were using Denzel, so this guy was pretty good here. So whoever worked on his car was good freaking uh, parts guy, parts knowledge. So there it is. We're just going to change the ignition coil, and uh, we're going to leave it there. Anyways, we're going to tighten this baby up, torque it, or hand tighten it. I'm going to check all of his plugs, so I'll be right back. I'm going to tighten these. All right, so the plugs are good. You guys saw that. That was the number one if you're not going to change that. Here's the ignition coil. My friend's going to open this up for me. Um, grab another one from there. We got three there. Okay, this one, uh, does it have a, usually I see like a, does it have, show me. Yeah, this one doesn't have it. You see this? It doesn't have that tape here. This one has it. I always look for that. So if it's not sealed like that, return it, get another one. We're going to pop this open. But meanwhile, remember, this coil is bad. So we're going to put this baby in, these two in just the way they were. And this one was here. A lot of people ask me, should I change all the coils? It's all up to you, but they're expensive, man. These are like a $90 coil. So if you want to spend like 100 bucks on each coil, it's all up to you. So we're going to put the connectors in. And remember, these, these are a little snap up, but that's fine. They're not going to bother us. We're going to take the 10 millimeters. After that, reset the light with the scan tool and go for a spin. The light doesn't come back. You're all set. There goes nothing. So if you had a cylinder one misfire, you would, uh, I'm sorry, the cylinder one is there, two is here. So we tackle that. Three, four, five, six. That's the order. All right, we got the coil out of here, out of the package. All right, so here's the coil. Denzo, there's the part number. Very simple. You take this guy, put it in place, just push in on it. Remember, like I said, if your ignition coil or spark plug has oil on it, you got to replace the whole gasket on the valve here. And we're going to lock that up. And we're going to close this up. And that's it. If you want to put a little bit of tap of silicone, that's fine too. But you can leave it alone. I'll put a little tap of silicone and that's it. Put the cover on. Reset the light. And go for a spin. The light shouldn't come back on. You should not have a vibration. Anyways, thank you for watching my video.